Alright, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel. So. First, first things first. We're going to go and hook ourselves up. We haven't got a cedar for this farm. And with it being an American farm, we're going to bring in the big stuff. So, we're going to bring in the big tractor. Uh, we're going for big bud. <laughs> should we go twins or what? I think we should go twins, yep. Right, so I need a... I've got a cultivator. We're just going to bring in the cedar with that for now. And then I'll sell my cultivator. Oh, actually, I might... No, I'll tell you what, I've got a John Deere cultivator that I'm using at the moment, but it's... It's not the best, and it's only... Uh, I don't think it's that wide either, you know? So, we're going to move on to... Because the whole point of this map is to... Obviously, enjoy having the bigger equipment, in my opinion, so... That's why we're going with that. So, that, that one is... It doesn't actually say what width it is, but... Right, so that one's 18.2, that one's 24. Oh, go for this bad boy. I'm hoping my tractor will pull it, me John Deere. It's 500 horsepower, I think. But we'll see. Right, then we need a cedar to go with that. Uh, so which cedar is it we need? Pretty sure that's just a tank. So that is... That does everything and that's 18 metres. So what, does anyone know what you use a tank for? So what's that? What does that go on? Does that go on that? So what is that 18 metres as well? So I'm assuming that goes on that. Right, so first things first is I need to bring down my new cultivator. Because uh, I need to finish the job first, so... New cultivator. Alright, and then we need to be in the big John Deere. Right, so I'm hoping this will pull, uh, I'm hoping this tractor will pull that cultivator. I think it will. She's big like. <laughs>
Look how much bigger it is compared to my old one. That's mental. <laughs> right, we're going to get this cultivated and then we'll bring the big bud down and we'll uh, seed it. Right, hope everybody's doing well. Hiya Grant, Tyler, how are you doing? Josh, how's it going? Uh, Victor is missing the fanatic wheel. Me, me, me and all, mate. And you want to be here in a week or two. I don't actually know when the new one will be here, but it will be here at some point. Right, lift that up. This thing's massive. Hey, William, how are you doing, buddy? Alan, how's it going? Afternoon, pal. Uh, Jack, I, don't, I, I, I have no idea. There's definitely a, a drifting stream today, definitely. I'll be drifting... Uh, I don't know whether to drift after this or do a bit of single-player Euro truck after this. But I want to get the mileage up a little bit so I don't know whether to do a bit of single play Euro truck then do some drifting then do uh, some trucking till 11 and then GDA stream tonight at 11 I, I don't know what to do yet but we'll see I've got a late start of the day so MJ Modern, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well, pal. Hope you're well. Yeah, we're going to be running the big buds a little bit today. I've not really uh, done much big bud work. So, it'll be interesting. Right, how come you don't wear your harnesses? Yeah, I do, I've got them fastened. Now, I don't know if you can see, but they are fastened. I can't stand up, as you can see. So I can't fall out of the chair, but I had a bad seizure yesterday and the day before in my chair, and it's really hurt my shoulder, so I'm just trying to have a break from it if I can. Harnesses aren't good for you. <laughs> they do the job for me, but it really hurts. The problem is it comes to a point where if a part gets weak, like my collarbone or something like that, I, I could really break it, like, so but we've got to be really, really careful. Yeah, John, it was a bit bright, wasn't it? <laughs> Hammering in the race miles, I think we're about 10k behind, though. I don't think we're going to catch the race miles. Unless I told everybody to to do race miles, I, I, I think Dave's won it in the UK this month anyway. Next month might be a different story. But we've caught him quick, like. But there is a lot of a lot more of us than there is of them, so they've done well. And to be honest, we're 500,000 miles we've done in the real miles. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal.
Right, that's just nearly there, so we need to go and get the big butt equipment next. Hey, it pulls it not bad this, like, pulls it quite well. It pulls better than I thought it would, anyway. Eh, hey, no, this is single player, this, mate. Eh, hey, what same wheel have I got now? Uh, this is a Thrustmaster TX458 wheel, this. Yeah, that was part of the deal though, you know. I know, well, I'm in, it, I'm in that truck for two weeks, so it's going to be the longest two weeks of my life. <laughs> yeah, it's all, all in good fun, mate, all in good fun. Yeah, I think we're about 100,000 miles behind uh, second place in the UK. But we're doing good, like, we're, we're doing, for, this is our first, well, half a month at it. So next, from the first of the month to the 30th of next month, that'll be our first full month at it. So it'll be interesting to see where we're at then. Right, Caden, you need to go to your motorbike club and then go to the laptop and then you can buy businesses down the side. You'll see uh, counterfeit cash, I think it's called, and then you can uh, buy your own business there. Stuck on there, man. World of me old. Oh, forget this thing's massive. <laughs> I think I might need to leave this outside. I think. I don't know if I'm going to get it parked in here. Find somewhere nice and tidy to find it. Gotta keep the farm nice, man. I'm quite enjoying this, this farm. I need to get some uh, animals in. That's, that's a definite, like. That is a definite. Right, she can stay, she can live there for the rest of her life. Big old JD wants a quick wash. I will leave her here. Right, 
don't think we'll need this for the rest of the episode. Yeah, we won't need this for the rest of the episode, so I'm going to park this up. Flat space, how are you doing, buddy? Goes right, that's out of way. So, next job is up at the shop. Uh, we need the new equipment we bought. Oh, there. there she is. This is what we need. So, there's equipment. Right, at least this doesn't look ridiculously big anyway, that's the main thing. <laughs> it only does 19 miles an hour though, my god. Not the fastest thing in the world, is it? Far from the farm, but we are quite a, quite a bit from the farm. But Jamie, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing really good. Flat space, thanks for asking. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah, PJ. I won't use this on all the fields, but field 50 and 49 down the bottom, that they are quite big and this, this would be handy to knock them out. We're working on field 34 at the moment, which is quite a reasonable size field, so... I think this is quite a tight lane when you turn left, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. What's my name in real life? Mark. Mark Armstrong. That's why the channel's called Mark Armstrong Gaming. A bit narrow this for this. Uh, Dakota, yeah, going well. We're going there. Uh, well, I don't know what to do next. I don't know whether to go and try and uh, do a little bit of single player Euro truck. I really want to do some single player Euro truck today. Uh, and then and then go on the drifting. And then then do Euro truck tonight with my dad. 
and then come off at 11 and then go on to GTA at 11 and go on till 1 on the uh, GTA. I think that's kind of where I'm at. I think so. I'll probably on here till about 4, swap straight over and go trucking until 6 ish. And then drift till about half past 7. Something like that. So, we'll see what we can do. Yes, my dad does have a channel. I really want to get some drifting in today, so that's why I'm kind of thinking like, do this for two hours or so, and then just do drifting for two, two and a half hours, try and get some tandems in and that. I'm not sure yet. Hey, his channel's called RC Tanks Are Me, but he, he doesn't use it anymore. He doesn't stream on his channel or anything like that. Right, where does one get seed from here? Right, I think I'm going to have to put external seed tanks in because the seed in here is in the shed, if I remember correctly. Pretty sure. Hiya Richard, how are you doing pal? Bear with us. We're just going to put some seed tanks in because uh, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. We're not going to use this tractor and this size equipment all the time on this farm because some of the fields are quite a quite a small size, you know. But uh, I think for some of the big fields, it would be nice to have this gear in the shed. And I don't use the big bud stuff often, so it's nice when you get a chance, uh, you know, to, to to take that chance and, and enjoy it, you know. Uh, come on, where's the seed tanks? Ah, here we go, right, so. Question being is where we're we gonna put them. Right, we'll have one there. It's gotta be somewhere I can drive straight up to it, you know. One there, and we'll have Oh no, is that more solid fertiliser? Ah, oh, it's liquid fert. Ah, doing really good, Richard, mate. Yeah, I had a uh, pretty amazing day yesterday, so... Uh, my Fnatic wheel base broke. Uh, and with it being five years old, it wasn't worth getting repaired because it still wouldn't be under warranty, so... Uh, we have just ordered a new one, so... Thanks to a very kind firefighter, we ordered a new V2.5 wheel base. Ah, this up down here for now. I have got some slurry to spread after, but I want to get the seeding done if I can first.
Right, question being is how the hell do I fill this up? This is a nice cell, man. <laughs> this is unreal. Tell you what, while that's see, while that's gonna be seen, I might set the more big more away, cutting around field. Uh, yeah, cutting around. Yeah, I might set the big M cutting up at uh, field 44. We've still got to cut, so. control right and right, hang on. we're full of fur no we're full of seed we need fur So what's happening with my... Oh. Where's the big M gone? Why have you stopped? Right, uh, turn... Uh, I don't know what headland we need, like, but... We'll do a headland and see if that helps.
I had that turned off, but someone told me to turn the collisions on. I'll just run the outside of the field and then it'll follow me around. I think that's what I did last time. Yeah, the collisions doesn't actually stop at collisions, it's just a collision checker and it'll sort itself out. Right, Shamrick, uh, I think if I'm going to do GTA 5 it'll be uh, about 11 o'clock tonight and buy whichever game you prefer, mate. You can't really, you can't say should I buy a farm sim or a set of courses, it's two completely different games. Whatever you like, buy. Right. Does that mean you can use Porsche wheel? Yes, yep, Porsche wheel, BMW wheel, F1 wheel, uh, hub, drift wheel, all the wheels that I own I can use then. So I'm going to run around this field and then we're going to move back to the cedar and uh, start seeing. I might cultivate that field next, I don't know. I don't know which other ones we own and also we don't actually have any animals yet so that could be the next purchase. I've got some silage bales, I haven't got any straw bales. Right, so I'm hoping it'll sort itself out now. Can you use a set of Corsa for Xbox One? Can, you can get a set of Corsa for Xbox One, but you can't use the drifting mods on it because you can't use mods on the X, on the console, I don't think. As far, as far as I understand it, I'm pretty sure you can. Made a bit of a mess here. <laughs> that was the hired worker, to be fair, but gonna get it back round to this start. In theory he should follow the cut line right round now I think. Right, we should be alright now. Set of course of stream purely depends. Uh, oh right. So the set of course of stream. I'm gonna do one today definitely, but I don't know whether to try and do a little bit of Euro Truck single player next, then do. Uh, then do. Then do drifting, or just to go drifting next, and then drift up till about you know drift for a good couple hours and then uh, and then just euro truck tonight and then i'm gta 11 so right i don't have any games you play other than gta uh, but i watch you because you're very entertaining keep up the good work i uh, love the, the euro truck streams awesome buddy you should get yourself euro truck it's a very very cheap game really well it, it is a very very cheap game
Ah, oh, you. Ah, uh, got you. You only have console, got you, mate. Right. I'm gonna stick some wheat in up here. No, we'll go barley. We'll go barley. Right. I'm gonna stick some barley in up here. Well, see, the crack being right is, I'm I'm desperate for wheat. I need I need a, I need wheat. Uh, because we, we want to knock a harvest out for the for the cattle. I'm only going to do cows on this. I don't think I'm going to bother with sheep. I, I don't think. I don't know yet. But I'm going to be moving this map on to multiplayer. Uh, I will be looking after this section here uh, on the multiplayer uh, with the help of a couple of guys. And then I'll have one guy looking after this section here. And then I'll have another guy looking after this section here. And then when we're on, when we're streaming, we're going to buy these fields to, to knock out together. So I'm kind of just wanting to feel out the farm and learn uh, learn the different ways of this farm until we put it on multiplayer. So uh, what's he doing down there? We don't own that field. Right, I need to go and get that worker. Worker's in this field down here for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, I'm looking for wheat. Uh Ah, so 45 we own, has got wheat in, so I'm going to put canola or something, but corn, we haven't done a corn harvest for donkey's years on my farm. I got into chopping it like, we knock out corn with a seed and no we can't, right, that's fine. Right, we're Canola's going in there. I have no idea what my what this guy's doing. I thought he had it cracked there, like. Got it. Right, big wood. How much was the nightclub? Jason, it was five million all in, I think. That is a nice looking cedar, isn't it? I think I've got about seven mil I think on GD at the minute. out some big stuff man dad I'm loving this I am quite enjoying this farm for an American farm it is pretty awesome having the big stuff in having the big equipment in, in is nice I'm just gonna go and save my uh, my grass because that don't think that'll work as well in the air What is he doing?
trying to learn this new, uh, I'm trying to learn this new thing. Monkey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Torin uh, or Toyn, I'm doing really, really good. Thanks for asking. I, I've had a really good start to my day, so I had a great night last night. Everything went well, so a little bit late on today, but I had a couple of family oriented jobs to take care of, which are now done. I'm now free all Saturday. a bit dark in the game now. We do have big lights like. Hey John, how's it going? Hey John, did you decide what you were going to save up and buy next then? Out of interest. When we last talking you were looking at maybe the, getting a different room or, or something. I wish a little TV worked in here, but <laughs> that would make my idea. Uh, Harvey, yeah, exactly. I mean, you could certainly get it done. You don't need the big bun stuff like that at all. But it is handy, I just thought I may as well use it, you know. So, I'll probably do a couple of runs around here and then I'm probably going to leave this and I'm going to start harvesting 30, uh, 45 today because he's why. I want to bring another harvester to the farm anyway. I've got the big class one at the minute but I would like to bring one of the, uh, the in-game ones in as well because you could do with more than one harvester. Uh, but I'm going to put the corn chopper on Two sets. Yeah, so I'm going to put the corn chopper on uh, on the big class harvester, I think, and we're going to chop corn with it. So I'm going to bring. I think I'm going to get the big red case harvester. And we'll take that and we'll start harvesting because I really want to get some baling done today and if I can get some uh, straw if I can get some straw in the only other thing I'm stuck for is hay it's the only thing we don't have stored so we'll get some hay bales knocked out I could knock some hay out of that field actually it means I need to re-row it up is the only thing but we'll see ETS is at 9 o'clock mate I'm thinking of doing some single player as well but it's going to be tight on time it means if I do single player Euro truck it means I won't be able to do as much as set a Corsa so uh, yeah I, I don't know we'll see I, I'd rather do a bit of a longer stream on a set of Corsa or something I think right I'm going to do one more run round the outside Right, I don't know, I think I will do some drifting so I might get a handbrake 
Uh, I am thinking. Ah. Well, tell you one thing. It's to go and try and drift without a handbrake. See if you enjoy it. Because you don't need a handbrake to drift. You, re you, you don't need it. If you can drift without it, even better. Uh, we're seen. We're doing some seen. There you go. I can watch this week says Joel uh, I have been working until late every day but it's uh, good to be here ah there you go mate there you go well I'm on all day so as far as I'm concerned today there's going to be farming drifting uh, Euro truck again I don't know if I'm going to do some single player as well I'm not sure and, uh, and there'll be some GTA later on tonight so a couple of different streams today should be, should be good I need to go on the outside cab to get these uh, these bits here, like. Diplex, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Deegan, welcome, mate. Uh, where and your order the part two build the handbrake, buddy? Uh, Ah, well, the handbrake itself is from uh, eBay. Conversion kit from Brian Davidson, but he's not taking orders at the moment because he's not very well. And uh, my heart goes out to him and his family. I uh, hope, hope everything goes well, I really do. Here's a question for you, before we harvest 45, should we, we should really spray it, shouldn't we? We should buy a spray and get it sprayed, I think. That's a disappointing horn, that. I was expecting more, like. <laughs> I was expecting better. Right, so I'm gonna call this my last run for now. I've got other jobs to do. Right, I think sensibly, before we move on too much, we definitely need some hay, and I think sensibly it would make sense to knock this field out. Uh, at least some of it. We we, we are going to need hay. And he's stuck on a post, I think, is he? Yeah, we're third on the real miles in the UK. Uh, I don't think we're going to get second this month. But, on the plus side, we are we are sitting uh, second on the race miles. And we, we possibly could get it. I don't think we're going to, but we could win it this month. Right, so, leaving that 
alone. I think we should get a bailer ready, and I think we should. Uh, so what do we need to, to, to achieve this properly? <laughs> Simply. So we need a right. We need a tetherer. We need a run up machine. We need a bailer. That's, that's all the equipment we need to get this done correctly. So. Right, what gear is sitting in here? Right, tether it. Right, I'll just go and ted the field. And then uh, I was going to try and ted it and row it up, but I don't know... I don't know what, what width. I would need a, a thin bone machine, I think, hang on. So we're running that one, which is 12.5 metres, so I would need a roan-up machine that isn't... Do we own a roan-up machine? No, we don't. So I would need one that's, see, that's 14 metres. So I need to run that roan-up machine, I think. Sensibly. Coon one's all right. Right, so we'll run that run up machine. Which is there. Yeah, chat's been quite slow on the channel for a while now. Uh yesterday it was it was not too bad like but Everybody's just got their own, you know, they've got their own stuff to do and, you know, the content's very much the same. Very, uh, yeah, it's very much, can, can get a bit repetitive, I would imagine, for people watching, but. Hey, Web, how are you doing? Hey, getting all the tractors out here. Yeah, I've managed to get them uh, repaired with a bit of aerodite for now. Uh, if need be, I'll drill them out completely. So, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, as you can see, they are working. So I just aerodited the screws in, left them overnight, you know. It's just a magnetic sensor on the side that I smashed.
Right lads. That's it, we're making bills. Okay, it's not worth getting you on or No, because see basically you know the arm where you bought the if you look on your pedals there's three little magnetic uh, sorry, three little allen keyboards that hold the the magnetic sensor on, on the accelerator pedal and the clutch. I, I've ripped them three boards out of the actual pedal arm, so I would need to buy a whole new arm, which they don't make anymore, so... ...is, is the problem, but uh, it's not an issue, it, they're working great, and if it, if it does break again, I'll just drill them out. It's my fault, I kicked it with my foot when I was having a seizure, so it's not like an everyday problem that most normal people would get. Uh, so yeah, it's just one of them things. Part of unfortunately, I break things like that that you would not normally break, and you just can't, don't really normally think about it, like snapping a seat or you know things like that. It's stuff you don't normally think about. We are working well here, man. Who says men can't multitask? Look at me go. This is awesome. <laughs> Hey reverse tech, how are you doing buddy? Dead beat, how are you doing mate? Nice nail. So that's the field we're gonna move into, which is 45. I'll try and get that harvested today. Yeah, I think a lot of people on the company uh, have moved over to race miles just to try and take number one if if we can. We've only got two days left I think, two or three days left before it goes back to zero. I'm, I'm assuming it goes back to zero, I don't know. Yeah, you got the one with the new seat, awesome buddy, that's good. I've seen the new seat, yeah, the new seat and the couple of strength upgrades that they've done. It's fantastic. See, I was thinking of going knocking a couple of thousand mile out in race miles as well, so... We could, we could cut tonight's convoy we could do race miles, but everyone would just get raw mental, man. And yes, I'm going to Truck Fest, yeah. Day's been good. Yeah, we're going to Truck Fest on the Saturday and on the Sunday, so very, very lucky. I'm hoping I can kind of blag myself like a Scania poster or something for my room. It's kind of what, I, what I'm after, but we'll see. The gear mount, uh, oh, I certainly wouldn't get the old one. The old one's terrible. I was the one that advised him to make the gear mount that way. Attach it to the seat so whenever you slide your seat your gear stick moves with you. It makes complete sense. The other thing is you can adjust it. The way the old gear mount is you bolt it in one place and if you move your seat forward or backwards then your gear stick stays in the same place so it's either too far back or too far forward. It's terrible. The new gear mounts way way better. Right, but it could be a difference between first and second. I know, John. I know, that's what I'm thinking, mate. We, we normally do about 30, 40,000 miles in a convoy, so that's why I was thinking tonight. But knock out, knock, knock them out in the race miles and we'll, we, we could own it, like, but we're not really doing race miles because that, that would mean next month we're going to have to concentrate on race miles, but I think we should concentrate on the uh, well I can tell you now monkey it isn't so then you if you've got a chance to get the new gear mount get the new gear mount 
that I'm telling you now. From an owner of the old one, get the new one. You're being silly. Go and look at an RC, like a proper RC. That's how their gear mount is, because it's good. And the, the old one wasn't strong at all. You could wobble it about, man. There you go, John. Jo John knows exactly what I mean, unfortunately. I didn't know when I owned it, because I didn't know the difference. I, di I thought that was good for a rig, you know? But when he phoned us and asked me my opinion, I, I did say, in my opinion, I would attach the gear stick mount to to the actual rig, uh, you know, to the seat, because you can set it up wherever you want it then, set the height, set how far you want it, then, you can uh, you can slide the seat forward and your gear stick stays exactly where you want it. It's just sense, it's just common sense. What's wrong with my harnesses? Nothing mate. Nothing. I've got I have got them on. As I don't know if you can see there, but they are fastened. I can't I can't get out. Yeah, reverse tech, it's alright saying that, but you could literally go and get some wood and build yourself a rig for pretty much nothing and still have a really good solid rig like I used to have. So, I hear what you're saying, but you can still have a ni really nice rig, painted black, you know. It's just as good, really. Yeah, well, learn how to build a learn how to build a wood, mate. You just need to drill pilot holes before you screw into stuff. But again, there's YouTube out there. You know, loads of places showing you how to build stuff, how to work with wood. You could build a really nice rig for very little money, and uh, you know, I did. <laughs> it was fantastic. All right. Uh, where else are we? Gaming has a question for me. Go on, fire away. Right, I think we should go and shift some bales, I think. Neil's old rig was as strong as... Yeah, my dad's old rig, rig wasn't that strong, really. It did have a lot of movement in it, my dad's old rig. My, my old rig was, my dad couldn't have a really solid rig because all the, the more solid the rig was, the more vibrations that went through the floor. My old rig, you could literally stand on it, jump up and down on it, and it was stupid strong. I mean, stupid. I built it out of roof truss wood. The, the, the wood that I found was uh, from building roofs. So, yeah, unreal. How long does it take? Uh, for a server to activate. Oh, uh, not that long. No, I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's that long. Right, we're after this bad boy here. That's what we need in our life.
What's my favourite mod in FS? Oh wow. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. There's so many. It would have to be a map, you know. I think the maps are just uh, fantastic. Come on, moderators, wake up. Get rid of angry, please. Be alive. Thank you. I haven't looked at the new wheels map yet. I'm going to be looking at one for MP because we're going to do MP a little bit different now. And I'm quite excited for it actually. I think I think it could really help the way that we're going to do it. So uh, yeah, so I'm quite I'm quite excited for that. So I'm, I'm I am on the hunt for a map. I was going to use this map, but I'm not a hundred percent sure really. No, the Wales map looks pretty good. Maple Valley looks nice from Lancy Boy. I just I don't know which one to go for, like. How are you doing, Glenn? I'm doing really good, mate. Thanks for asking. Yeah, absolutely spot on. Just collecting some bales up here. Hey Mark, uh, did you? Uh, did I friend you in GTA 5? Pro uh, yeah, uh, I haven't been on today, so unless you added me this morning, then no. But hope you enjoyed. Uh... Oh mate, I had my first ever T-bone steak, and it was the best steak I've ever had. It was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I can't wait to go there with William. Me and my wife are going to take uh, Mr. William Twinkham there, so quite excited to be honest. I can, I'm looking forward to taking him there, absolutely, definitely. The, the only rule is he needs to come on a Friday, because that's steak night, so. <laughs>
Temps it in the room is 35. Uh, 35? Well, 34.8 if you want to be precise. But the room's not been on long, so it'll probably. It, to be honest, it doesn't really matter what temperature it is outside. The room sits around about 32 ish to about 38, depending on which rig I'm using more and how many lights I've got on. So. Yeah, the problem I have is not the heat outside, it's the heat that my setup itself produces. It produces around about 30 to 40 degrees, that's my problem that I have. Extractor would be handy. Well, I mean, if you're going to go extractor, you may as well just put aircon in, but I can't because it's a rented house. Right, trailer's full. Hi Mark, I was on GTA 5, uh, says Dennis, you were AFK, someone started to mod, uh, you buy, give you objects, that gives you money, yeah I know mate, I know, I'm quite aware. Right, I better sort these bales out that are stacked because they don't look very good, do they? Why can't I pick them up? That's all. I think.
Right, so back to the old bale. Well, we're gonna lift these few bales up that are left and then we'll uh, crack on with the bale. Like this new Holland man, she's nice, eh? Perfect for lifting bales. Perfect for lifting bales. Right, back to my fleet of uh, equipment that I'm hoping is still running. <laughs> but we'll see. Ah, it is. Excrement. It's a lovely John Deere, this thing. Beautiful chat there. What's everyone else playing today anyway on their Saturday? It's yes when I finish work at four. Ah, okay, Richard. You at work now, are you? ATS2, which it is uh, on as well. Awesome. Mr. MG ATS2. Excellent. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's on ATS2. That's good. Really good. Waiting to get my racing cockpit and playing FS17 uh, and in the meantime. Awesome, Ollie. Uh, what cockpit are you getting, Ollie? Are you getting uh, what are you going for? Now this in no time with this machine man it's great tax just done five hours on ets yeah <laughs> i've done, done my fair share of uh, multiple hours on there definitely <laughs> I, I think truck box has definitely been good for me uh, personally, I'm not on about for the channel or anything like that, or, or Armstrong haulage or nothing like that. I'm just saying, truck box itself is really good. It's kind of give give the whole game a new lease of life for me. And obviously, because you can use it on pro mods, it means I don't need to be on uh, online, which is even better for me. Because uh, I like me online with you guys, and I like being on with my dad. But I love mods, absolutely love mods. GT Omega Pro Racing Simulator. Ah, excellent, mate. Sounds good. Uh, you're waiting to save up to buy your second PC. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Go for it. Can't multitask like that. Uh, I said last night, don't know how you can read, chat, and drive. <laughs> Yeah, I've got quite, uh, I've got fairly good at it now, like, I think games like ETS2 are easier to read chat. When you're trying to read chat and that on, like, Grand Theft Auto and that, it's quite difficult. Do I like football? I don't, mate, no. No, nothing against football. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea, you know. Quite excited. I'm, I've been checking my email. I'm, I'm hoping that Fnatic send me a 
you know, uh, tracking number through so I can track the packages, so that'll be pretty good. Uh, Mr. MG, you need to get pro mods and rush map and uh, get a big, bit boring driving. Oh, yeah, you got to get it, man. Get it? It costs very little. Uh, Freddie, I, I mean, mainly I, I'm into like rallying and cycling, really, is my main. But cycling, not so much now, obviously, because I can't cycle myself anymore. Uh, I don't really follow it as much. I was very, very passionate about it, and then when you can't do something that you're passionate about, it's quite hard. So, uh, I didn't even bother just concentrating on that. Ah, right, okay, Alan, yeah. No, it got to be done, though. It's a bit like uh, open pipe sounds and that. Honestly, so worth it. Right, so we've got here... Ah, so the only thing we haven't got yet is straw, so we need to do straw today if we can. Like I said, I'm going to hook myself up with a new harvester anyway, because we've only got the one harvester on the farm, and that's just not good enough for me. <laughs> so we're going to go for this one. I don't like yellow. I mean... As a colour, I quite like yellow, but as a, on the harvesters, just it's not for me. Like, no, there's a bigger one than that in there. Where's the big one at? There she is. Afternoon, Kevin. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, nice. I like that as well. Uh, you made me want to get a steam wheel. Go for it. It's your favourite map uh, that has been released so far. Uh, so for Farm FS17. Uh, my favourite's got to be. I've got a couple, like, but Dramand, Dramad. I think Dramad. I think Dramad's probably my favourite. Uh, but I also really like. I do enjoy Oakfield. I've got to admit. Uh, right, where else are we? Uh, we've got Kev's in, we've got Ollie. Uh, Richard, sadly, I drove an eye record last night. I do not know what your dad sees in them. I uh, will drive the truck for two weeks like you in support. Hey, thanks, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, right, uh, where else are we? I'm just going back through comments that I might have missed. Uh, hi Mark, why are you ignoring my comments? Mushy. I mean, I don't see any comments from you uh, that I've missed anyway. So, sorry about, about that, mate. Right, can you give me... Freddy, yeah, I've already said your name, mate. I don't really do shout-outs. Neil doesn't have an SKRS note. Good mate, being the vet with my Jack Russell. She jumped off the chair last night and had dislocated both knees. Wow, that's not good. Jesus. That's fairly unlucky, like, to be honest. us. What school did I go to? Uh, well I grew up in a place called Newton Aircliff which is in the northeast of England and I went to a uh, wooden community thing. Terrible school, should be burnt the ground. Uh, do you have any news about Farmers in 19? I know, I know what you know, uh, I don't I'm the same as you, mate. I've got to buy the game. I don't know. I don't 
don't know any behind the scenes stuff, I know absolutely nothing. Uh, ah, I got you there mate, yeah. Ah, Mr. Capture, hello. How's it going? Hope you're doing good mate, hope you're doing good. I thought where I live, uh, I thought I remember the accent. Awesome, buddy. <laughs> Reverse tech, mate. Are you still dropping two and a half thousand or are you dropping fives now? Uh, very well, thank you. Uh, weekend away in Cornwall. I uh, hope you. Seal team, Neil are good. Uh, really good, mate. You away? You away with the missus, are you? Uh, having a nice weekend. Awesome, buddy. That's good. You'll be, you'll be going out for dinner or something tonight, are you? you? Must be. Well, the way I look at it for Pro Mods and Rush Map at the end of the day, it's uh, <laughs> £1.50, you know, it's a kind of monster, literally a kind of monster. Fish and chips are beside the harbour, it will be, ah, right, okay. Got you, mate, got you there. Uh, you will get transaction. Yeah, I, I constantly get that transaction error. I left mine on for five hours the other day and that message was just constantly on the screen. <laughs> uh, but as long as you keep your controller moving, it doesn't matter. You don't need to keep pressing enter. You can just leave it. You still make money even though that error is on, on the screen. Freddy, it's, only, it's, uh, it's if I make somebody a moderator, so I heard that message can get you banned, so you should keep the drop out of control the way to it. Honestly, all the telltales you've heard about banned, yeah, they, once they put a ban wave out, you, you'll see. I, I come from when they did do the ban waves, and you know, I actually modded, I, I was a modder for. Oh, about five or six months heavily and, uh, and once they put a ban wave out everybody got banned people who collected money people who didn't collect money people who were modern just they just banned ban waves are massive and you'll never know they're coming I can tell you that just enjoy it while you can that's all I can say the bales out of that field and we're good but I'm gonna go and start the harvest now anyway so I'll get that field cleared later Yeah, unreal that monkey man, but, uh, 
Yeah, not good. First one done. This is the slow part of putting all your gear away, but not a lot you can do about it, though. It, you do, if you don't tidy up ever, you you just spend days trying to clean clean all your gear and that. I like to just do it once I finish. Like I just find it easier. Part this day, John, next to that. That good. Right, 
Right, I do want to actually reset this thing. So I want to put that away. Oh. Right, I'm going to park this up as well. That's all the gear put away. That I'm using anyway, because we've got the big... Uh, oh no, we've got the big M. We need to bring the big M in. And then I can start harvesting... What? Oh, harvesting. 45 we're harvesting. The only downside is I put the baler away and I actually need the baler. <laughs> I forgot. My mistake. Alright, so the only downside was I packed the baler up and I need it. Right, cause, right, that's good, right. Harvester time. You gotta clear the rest of them bales. I don't know whether to just clear them and start harvesting in the next episode. Not 100% sure. So we've got quite a few outstanding jobs to do here. Start knocking the harvest out, right up. I'll clear the bales when we next come on. At least if I can get around the outside of this field, it'll be a, a nice achievement because it's, it's an awkward field. This one. I've been looking at, I don't know if you guys can see, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the shape of the field here, but that's, that's the field that we're working, so it's a bit of an awkward one, like. Do the headland and then that'll give us a bit of room to move. Beautiful map this thing. It really is. So yeah, this map will be coming to multiplayer uh, next week, I think, I'm going to start it. Obviously the map's out for multiplayer now anyway, but I'll be uh, putting it on my multiplayer, I think. I'm going to have a look at the Welsh map and see if it might be better. Because uh, I really want to get some sort of good farm set up for when 19 comes out, because then we can move over the same 
basis of how we're farming, we're going to move it over to Farm Sim 19. So, that, most of the people I play online on, on uh, the server are, have all got it pre ordered anyway, so. What an awkward field, man. <laughs> I don't know whether to try and like straighten it out a bit or... I'm tempted to go straight down. And then harvest that bit on the left separately. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna harvest that bit separately. Draw button the same as the go button, man. Right, Philip, how are you doing, buddy? Hope you're well. Didn't even notice you were kicking about today, buddy. Ken Campbell, how are you doing, mate? You alright? Ah, oh, Mr. Snowman, how are you doing, buddy? Knocking some miles out on ETS, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm cracking, mate. Yeah, cracking. I just, uh, I'm going drifting after this, I think. See if I can find uh, Glenn or somebody to go sideways with. Uh, try and practice a bit on uh, Drift Playground. I have sent me pal Hutchie a message to see if he wants to go sliding, but uh, I'm probably busy with it being a weekend, you know. So, right, that's an 80% beep we just got there, so I need to bring the big trailer down. Right, just trying to get rid of this awkward shaped bit of the field to try and bring some normality into it. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna need, gonna go. I'm gonna need to go and grab the trailer anyway. I think. Right, KC, how are you doing? Mushy still about as well. Awesome. Uh, Joey, when will this end? Not sure, mate. Probably another 20 minutes, I would think. Uh, I'm not in any mad rush to end it, but. Uh, yeah, just see how it goes really. I'm I'm probably not gonna get this whole field harvested but if I, I might <coughs> I might jump on if I could get the awkward parts of the field done and at least get right round the outside, it would mean it would be easier when the next come on.
Where's me Scania at? There she is. I've got crop destruction on, which is why I'm trying to not drive through the crop. Cheers for that, Philip, mate. Yeah, some people have been uh, not finding them as easy as, but uh, it's not the, the the server's not up at the moment, so. Finley, how are you doing buddy? My dad doesn't come on through the day and uh, yes, this is my farm. Kind of, it was like a bit of a test map to see if, uh, just until we get the server sorted. Not, well, not sorted, but enjoyable for myself. I just wasn't enjoying it, so. Yeah, just uh, on Lone Oak Farm for a bit, so. tonight with my dad yet yeah, nine o'clock every Friday Saturday all right back to it so we can enable the uh, enable the straw now back around the outside of the far, uh, field so I'm going down here turn right right down the end turn right again and then once I'm down back down the other end where we started I want to straighten up that if I can uh, just to make it easier to bail and that and then we've just got basically a, an, an L-shaped field then so hopefully Right, I watched some of your videos and I uh, have big respect for you, eh? Hey, savage, thanks for that, mate. I hope you're well. Yeah, I've got, I've actually got more done today on this farm than I thought I would, because with it being obviously such a big map, it does take a long time to get anywhere. 
which again uh, will make a really good uh, multiplayer map like. Yeah, so it's down that end that I want to straighten up. I don't know if you can see, it's just down there on the right. That's the bit that I want to straighten. Uh, on the mod hub, yeah, mod hub. And most of my mods are from the mod hub. I've got a couple that aren't, but most of them are. Right, so the plan is just to get down the other end, uh, straighten the other end up, and then that uh, big moor that I've left out on that field, I want to go and put that away. And then, uh, yeah, then we've got a couple of jobs to finish when we come back in next time. Hey Scott mate, how's it going? Uh, I do, I, I only like the orange Lucas here, and I'm not keen on the originals to be honest. I love that big moor man, it's massive isn't it? <laughs> the size of the thing. I should really run the, uh, what's it called, the uh, GPS mod, you know, but I, I, just, I, I see a lot of streamers using it and they just sit there while the GPS mod's doing it all for them and I know obviously it makes you feel a bit neater and you never miss nothing, but it seems a bit much to me, like. And also, if anyone's on the truck box today, don't forget there's only about two, two days left and the, the mileage will start again, I think. I think that's how it works. Seventy five percent full again. It's a fairly big field, this isn't it? Right, so this is the bit I'm gonna try and straight. Twin Cam, how are you doing buddy? Oh, welcome. I haven't seen much of William today, uh, William Twin Cam, but I think he'll be head down flat out, I think, or he might not be well. I, I don't think he's keeping too well at the moment. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see when we hear from him.
Where we're starting from tonight. Uh, I haven't put it on the Facebook group yet, but uh, we're starting in. Uh, 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 oh, come on, Matt. Amsterdam. Is where we're starting. William Jordan, Mr. Gambler, how are you both doing? You're very late, mine. Hope you both got a good excuse. We're just straightening off this field. I've got the big end to go and wash, and then we are ending the stream. In a bit of being a quiet old farm stream, is it? Not being bad though, we've got a lot done. Well, that's certainly have anyway. Doing great, how about yourself? Spot on buddy, absolutely spot on. Yeah, really good. Just trying to, the field that we're currently in, I don't know if I can show you if by harvest, there you go. So the field that we're in is a really awkward shape as you can see, so it's really, really awkward. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out these orange bits, so I'm gonna harvest these. So then when we come on there tomorrow or whenever I'm next on here, we've just gotta harvest right around here. So what I might do when I'm next on is just go straight down there, harvest that bit, and then harvest this bit. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this off now. I uh, had to go shopping for the wife. Uh, <laughs> ah, no, spot on, mate, spot on. I'll be on the drifting with you, but I uh, will have to get off early because I have things to do. Ah, there you go, mate, there you go. Yeah, well, I, I still, nobody kind of answered my question to the point of I could straight to do my next stream I could do like a single player Euro truck stream for an hour and a half then swap over and do like an hour and a half of drifting then do Euro truck tonight at 9 then do Grand Theft Auto at 11 or I could just finish this stream and go straight on to drifting and just drift as long as as long as we can then have me tea then do Euro truck with my dad then do ETS to, uh, sorry do uh, GTA at night but I'm not really sure. I did fancy putting a few miles in on single player Euro truck, but I just don't think I've got the time. Possibly. It might be better just to do uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, do ETS then Drift, then ETS then Grand Theft Auto. Is that, what you're, is that what you're voting for, mate? Right. Yeah, I could pull that off. Again, it would only be an hour and a half, like, but I could definitely uh, pull it off. Right, ETS then drift. That's what. That's what the boat is saying so far. And then ETS tonight as well. So we'll do an ETS single player next. Then we'll do drifting, and then we'll do ETS. Yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not bothered. I'm, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, sounds good to you. I just, I got, I got started a little bit later today, so, uh, my wife's just not, not feeling great at the moment, so, a couple of jobs to do, and, uh, help out a little bit around the house, you know. See, I can't do drifting, Oh, you mean, right, so reverse tech means no single player ETS. Just to try and do like three hours of drifting. Yeah, twin cam, yeah, that's, that's the plan, mate. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I was saying drift and single. No, because 
if I do that, then I'm doing ETS with my dad straight after that as well. And I don't like being two streams one after another the same game. I, I, you know, I'd rather split it up a bit for myself. No, I'm not, I don't care about you guys, but I don't want to do like an hour and a half of ETS and then two hours of ETS tonight. I, I, I like to break it up a bit, that's the whole point. I'm on ETS at nine, you see. I'm on ETS tonight, tonight with my dad. Right, I'll swap over and get on the ETS single player. I'm just going to park this up at the other end. Got my canvas to swap over a little bit and a bit of lighting to swap over, so I'll be about 15, 20 minutes, I think. I should be live for about quarter past, half past four at the most. So I'll, I'll do my best, like, I'll do my best. We're a bit flat out today, we're a bit flat out, so. But, I'd, uh, I'd, I'm pleased everyone voted a bit of single player, because I do fancy it. Uh, hey, reverse tech, mate, there's no need to be a knob end. I was just, I was just asking. I don't care. I'm playing games all day. I was just giving people a bit of a choice. Right, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks again. Uh, I'll be should be I'll be ETS single player in about uh, 15 20 minutes. So I'll see you all then. Take it easy. Have a good one. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all back in about 20 minutes.